You loved the previous video about creating sticky blocks and a few of you wanted a tutorial of how I made those specific sections. So your wish is my command. This is the section we'll be walking through. As you can see, we have a static image on our left and on the right we have sticky text cards that kind of overlap each other as you scroll. This is actually super easy to do with the new pin feature on Squarespace. So starting from scratch, we'll add a new section and we'll need to make sure that our section has no gaps in the grid and that the section fills the entire screen. This way our content blocks can stretch to the entire size of your screen and there are no spaces in between each element. Now we'll first add our image block and make sure under the design tab we choose fill option so that our image will fill the entire blue selector border and you can stretch it to the size that you want. I'm going to push it at the very edge of our section and make sure I'm making it long enough to fill the entire screen on our right. Now we'll add our text block. I'm just going to paste the filler content here so we have some text. Now we'll add background to our text. Click the second icon on the menu and allow background. Now of course you can style this however you want, but I want my text to look like it has lots of space in the back, so I'm gonna set the padding large and I'll change the color of the background. So now we're gonna stretch it to fill the entire space between the image on the left and our end of screen on the right. I suggest you also change the alignment to center so it looks a bit more structured, especially if your content blocks will have different lengths of text, this will kind of keep it more aesthetically pleasing. I'm simply going to duplicate this text block a few times for all of our kind of service sections. I will just change the color of our background. Now, because the last one is so dark, I'm going to change the color of the text manually here to white. Now that we're happy with our text blocks, it's time to start pinning. We'll first pin our image and you'll see this little um, pinning icon at the top and we will pin it to the top of our section with zero offset because we want our image to stick to the very top of our screen. Now you can see if I scroll down, our image will stay fixed on the left and our text blocks will scroll down as normal. But if we want to go even further, like in our previous section, we want to make our cards or text blocks overlap. So what we'll do is we'll also pin our text blocks. If you want for a bit of a bottom card to be visible as you still scroll up, you can change the offset to make sure your text block does not stop at the very top of your screen, but just a few pixels down. Of course, in that case, the offset of the third card is going to need to be double what you put in the second one. Let me just add another service so you can see this better. So the same technique was used to create all of the sections from my sticky block video. I want you to just examine this one. Here we have two text blocks and a line. Now it's always easier to first build out a static composition and then start pinning. You'll see I set all of the elements here at the offset of 22, so all of the elements are the same distance from the top of our screen. On the second element, we are still using the same offset because we want the sections to overlap at the same place. Now also note that I'm using text background on all of these elements here as well, so our button text gets covered completely. Now I also want to note that the sticky feature does not translate into mobile, so you'll need to set it here separately if you want to use it, 
or you can just use a static composition, whatever works best for your design. You can, however, pin them separately here as well. So because the screen is so small here, we're gonna let the image slide and we'll start pinning our text block of our first service. And we'll pin it at the very top of our screen. Now we can pin the second service again at the top or with an offset. So you can still see the previous title. I hope this was helpful, but if you still have questions, you can drop them down in the comments. And if you're attempting any of these layouts, I'd love to see your twist on it. Thank you for joining me, and if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, just let me know. Happy designing!